Lesson 6, Relational Operators. To follow along with this lesson, you will need to create a new empty console project and add a new C++ file named main.cpp to it. In this lesson, we cover relational operators. Relational operators take two items and tell us whether a particular relationship exists between them. So the operators that we deal with will be binary. There are six relational operators in C++, and you probably have some familiarity with them from mathematics. The syntax shown here is the common usage. However, in C++, the syntax is different. The equal sign is already used for assigning values to variables, as we've seen. Also, the symbols for the last three operators don't exist on the keyboard, so all these operators are designated with two characters in C++. This shows the C++ syntax for the relational operators. Here's an example program using some of the operators and constants. Relational operators evaluate to a boolean, which is used to tell us whether the relationship is true. For example, it is true that 3 is less than 6, but it is not true that 8 is greater than or equal to 10. Here's the output of the program. Constants are easy to work with, but we will typically want to evaluate operators on variable arguments. In such cases, the truth of the statement will depend on the value of the variable at the time the operator is evaluated. In this program, we evaluate the operators with x set equal to 5. We can represent the set of x values for which each expression is true on the number line. Notice that there is some redundancy since half of the operators are equal to the negation of the other half. Looking back at the last lesson, we can combine relational operators with logical operators to create bounded intervals using the AND operator, or the complement of an interval using the OR operator. We can also apply relational operators to two variables at once and graph the resulting truth region in the plane. This concludes the lesson.